everyone! I know it's been a long time since I posted a video. I was having a lot of technical difficulties with cameras and whatever, but I recently just got this camera and um, I don't have a lot to shoot today, but I thought I would go ahead and show you my new file effects. A lot of you have been asking me about writing and publishing and fiction and all of that, so I'm doing a major overhaul at my site Novelism at SheTheWriter.com where you'll find tutorials on character development, writing, publishing, books, I don't know, pretty much anything you might need to know. It's still in development. I will have more content up there for you guys soon. So thanks so much for your support and your continued viewership of my ridiculous videos. This is a compact patent red Filofax, and the compact Filofax uses personal size pages. Um, the only difference between the personal size and the compact size is that the compact has a smaller ring on it, so you can't fit quite as many pages on it. I wanted to get the personal size, but it didn't come in red, so that's why I have the compact. Um, so it's got a pocket here. I have this flyleaf. It comes with a plastic flyleaf with a picture from Hero Magazine. Well, it doesn't come with the picture from Hero Magazine, but I added that. And I got this monthly calendar off of Etsy, and I put this ruler in it that pops out, and this frosted ruler comes with this Filofax. I think most of them come with it. Um, but it's an easy way to bookmark what you're doing, and you can move it easily without having to open the ring, so that's kind of the benefit there. Um, and... My second divider, I didn't change the dividers, a lot of people do that. You can easily do that with cardstock and a hole punch. Um, but I just, I like the colors that they already come in, so I found no need to do that. This is my calendar, well my to-do list calendar, called Things I Do. And this is just a weekly planner. This is the week on two pages format. And um, on here, on this flyleaf that I, I cut slits into so that it would come out. I think you can use acetate for this. I put um, things I have to do every day because my daily to-do lists were getting too full. They were too busy to the eye and I didn't have, to have space to write down what I needed. So I have these six things I do every day and I put six circles on each day for those things and then I write down what all else I have to do. And I don't have a lot of stickers or coloring. That's just a little too girly for me to too young for me. Um, these are projects, so this is a list of ongoing projects or ongoing skills that I work on on a regular basis if I have extra time. This is um, for work, jobs, these are languages I'm learning, and then this sheet, you can see this sheet has a list of publications on it, and these are just, um, these are magazines with titles next to them so I can keep track of which of my pieces are um, waiting for an acceptance or rejection letter and which aren't. The slash is a rejection, so as you can see these are all rejections so far. Um, and then the fourth divider is more casual things, entertainment, a shopping list, exhibitions. This is actually empty right now, but I, I live in um, quite the art district, so I tend to go to a lot of exhibitions. These are just general activities to do if I'm with friends and we don't know what to do. It doesn't happen very often, but when it does happen, I like to be prepared. I have a list of movies to see, but I'm moving, um, I'm moving over into Rotten Tomatoes to keep all my movie lists and reviews on there. So I probably won't need this much anymore, but feel free to check me out there. Um, marketing ideas for Cope Syndrome. Part 5 is just supplies, so this is a post-it doc. With, you know, post-its always here so that I can use them throughout the Filofax. This is an envelope that, it's just a basic envelope that I put in here, it's nothing special. And I keep my stickers in there for birthdays and um, smiley faces and basic kinds of things that you would use in a planner, typically. And the sixth divider is just miscellaneous notes. And I don't keep ideas in my Filofax um, because it's, it's not a book. And I keep my ideas in a notebook, um, which I'll show you. But this is basic notes, so like notes about, you know, ideas for my resume or um, copywriting lists of things I want to copyright or whatever. And then in the back here, you're probably wondering where my general to-do list is. I have this Word notebook, and this is from 
wordnotebooks.com and this was made by a designer and um, it's basically just a little notebook that has a system for to-dos. It has um, these bullet points that, I don't know if this is in focus here, but let me see. Yeah, it looks pretty much pretty well in focus. And it has these dots and depending on the, the bullet that you put there, you can indicate the importance of the task, whether you're working on it already, whether it's done, it's in progress, whether you haven't started it, whatever. So I use this for my to-do list and it does fit really nicely back in here. So it fits nicely in here and um, that is all I have going for my Filofax right now. This is an ecosystem notebook in Lagoon Blue. I called it cream colored blue. This is um, my studio notebook and on my general notes. My daily journal is a separate journal. Um, I keep quotes and dreams in separate journals and character notes sometimes in separate journals. But the fact is that you can't carry all those notebooks everywhere you go, so it's good to have a catch-all. So I always have a catch-all, and what I do is I just put everything in here, no matter where it belongs. And if I feel the need to sort it later, I will. Um, but I don't usually, I usually just keep it in here, and any idea I get gets to go in here. Stay tuned for more!